what's up? Hope you're having a great day. My name is Misty, if you're new here, and I go around restaurants on the island of Oahu to show you different types of foods and new restaurants or old restaurants. And today we're going to an older restaurant because the weather, I figure it's uh, perfect for it. The weather is windy, it's cold lately and chilly for Hawaii standards. And what better way for locals to enjoy and warm up with oxtail soup? But the problem, is oxtail soup is very expensive. It's up to $30 a bowl in some places, usually around 25, 28 in that range though. I would say 30 is one of the higher ends. But I heard a place that has affordable oxtail soup, which is still expensive, but one of the more inexpensive ones that you can find prepared for you in a restaurant is surprisingly at Kimchi 2 in Kaimu Ki. So I'm here. There it is, kimchi too. You can see the ominous, scary clouds. And we'll, we'll go in there. To be honest, I don't know how busy it's going to be in there. If it's super busy, I'm not going to eat in there. Um, but if it's busy, I'm going to do a takeout, probably do it in the car. I'm outside just for a moment and it is super windy, so I don't think I can do it in a park. But we will go and see if this inexpensive oxtail soup is worth the money. Okay, so obviously I did not uh, want to dine in there. It was super crowded during lunchtime. Um, so very popular place. Um, but I got takeout and it's piping hot. It's super hot. I'm sure you get probably more because the bowls I've seen on the pictures are huge. But this is a pretty good portion. What you would get at Kapiolani Coffee Shop or anywhere else when you do takeout. It is super hot. Looks like a lot of mustard greens in there. And um, coming from a Korean restaurant, we'll see if it has that old school Hawaii Chinese influence to it. So with your oxtail soup, of course, you got to have the rice. And what's interesting is you get your ginger for those that like their ginger. And then you get a Korean type soy sauce. So that's interesting. And then the really cool thing, I think it goes really well. It must be the part Korean in me is you get a side of kimchi. So that's going to be yummy with the rice and the soup. So as you can see, there's a lot of mustard greens in there, some green onion. I don't see any cilantro, but we'll see what's in it and some meat. This does have a white milky look to it. Remi reminds me of a Korean oxtail soup, which is totally different from local style. It's more like a bone broth. So hopefully it's not too much of that. So I'm going to take a sip of the broth. Let's taste it. Mmm, pretty good, very flavorful. And you can see it's very clear and a very nice clean broth. I will say, honestly though, it does not taste like a traditional Hawaii style oxtail soup. It has its own flair to it, but it's really tasty though. Very flavorful. So let's take a taste of this um, mustard green or mustard cabbage. It's cooked down nice, nice and soft. Gives um, the soup a little bit of a different texture. A lot of people make oxtail soup very different. I don't put mustard cabbage in mine, but I know a lot of other people do. If you go to Zippy's, you get shiitake mushrooms and stuff like that. Some people put peanuts in it. So very interesting. Okay, let's dig in here and look at that. That's the meat. So it looks like they kind of chop the oxtail in smaller pieces, I guess maybe, I don't know, to make it look like there's more or maybe it's just easier to eat. Okay, let's try this out. Hmm, interesting because the flavor of the meat is very flavorful. So they probably marinate it in something before boiling it. It's not just plain salt taste. There's something else in there. I don't know if it's sesame seed oil, but just a dab of it, you know, not too much. Really flavorful and soft. It's not tough at all chase it down with some rice you know what it's different but it's still delicious and if you're craving oxtail soup then this is a go let's try it with some kimchi this is their kimchi it's made out of regular cabbage but I, I like that kind um, other than you know wambok okay I'm gonna spoon some soup on the rice and eat some of it with the kimchi that should be good Yummy. 
there's something to me about just hot soups or like beef stews and kimchi with a hot bed of rice that just really go well. Super Ono really goes well with the um, kimchi. I think it's a great addition and makes it different. Very comforting on a chilly winter day in Hawaii. Can't go wrong. All right, this is the sauce um, that comes with it that makes it unique. It looks kind of like um, the sauce you would dip mandu in or something like that. And it's got some, I don't know, stuff floating on top. Looks like spices and it looks very red. So I'm not sure if it's spicy. So what I'm going to do is I'm guessing maybe you would dip your meat in there. So I'm going to dip the meat in here without making, trying to make a mess in my car. Let's try it out. Hmm. That um, totally changes it up and totally makes it different from oxtail soup, but very nice. It's um, very tangy, like a vinegar. So yeah, I think you would dip this in mandu too, which is the Korean dumpling. And it's got a vinegary, spicy taste to it with a little soy. If you aren't a purist, you might not like it, but I think it really gives a different flavor to it if you're bored of the same old flavors. Nothing bad, it's just different. It's good. And I'm not one to really like ginger unless it's cooked into something. I don't like raw ginger. I like ginger and stuff like um, chicken long rice or something like that, but not so much this, but I will try it with the soup just to see if it makes it um, more similar to a local style of an oxtail soup because that kind of changes it. Definitely makes it more of a local style oxtail soup with the ginger. So if you're craving for that and wanting a cheaper option, this does definitely, the fresh ginger turns it around into that uh, area of oxtail soup. But it doesn't have the cilantro and it doesn't, you can taste, there's no star anise or the tangerine peels and all the stuff that is um, Chinese influenced to make that local style Hawaii oxtail soup. But overall, a very good meal and I enjoyed it. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a different style. Um, Korean yet has a little bit of local flair. So if you're really craving and jonesing for an oxtail soup, but you can't afford it and you don't know how to make it, this is a great option. The oxtail soup with the rice comes with the dipping sauce, the lots of fresh ginger, and the kimchi is only $19.90. If you're on a budget, and even though oxtails are very expensive still in the store, they used to be very cheap because it's not a desired part of an animal, but now it's um, been turned into a specialty by television and chefs around the world. So the price really got jacked up. Um, it's still cheaper to make at home. And if you're interested and you don't know how, I have a great recipe that I uh, make my oxtail soup uh, if I'm craving it at home. And I'll put the link above if you're interested. But next, I'm gonna go to another place that supposedly serves a kind of oxtail type soup and we'll see if it's also good and it's offered for a cheaper price compared to other restaurants and it's right across the street from kimchi too so let's go check it out okay we're across the street from kimchi too it's over there and we're going to a vietnamese spot right across the way kind of diagonally and they serve a pretty reasonable priced oxtail soup or you could get pho noodles it's super pho So let's check it out. Okay, we're here in Super Fa, and this is their oxtail bowl. It's got um, lots of oxtail in here, some wonbok, cabbage, peanuts, and shiitake mushrooms with um, pho noodles. And you can get pho noodles or rice if you don't want noodles. And then the owner said to try the special sauce that comes with it. It's garlic and ginger and fried scallions. So let's try that out. Hot. Mm, that's really good. And the oxtails are super huge. It is freaking hot. 
But look at that. And there's about one, two, three. Three pieces. Some are smaller. That's a smaller one. But pretty needy. I like the addition of these plump shiitake mushrooms. Let's try the broth. Mmm. Really tasty. This one's closer to the local style. It's got that star anise flavor, but kind of like a fog broth. It also has those herbs in there. I think just the little difference is the Vietnamese cinnamon in there. And she does give you chili sauce and sriracha if you want. Quite different from um, regular oxtail soup that's Hawaii style, but can't go wrong with the garlic chili sauce. Super delicious, especially with pho noodles. But I will say this ginger concoction is really delicious. And it's got the crispy shallots on there. So it's got that crunchy texture. And these oxtails are super meaty, but it's just so hot in temperature. Super soft, exactly like a local oxtail soup. It's tender, fall off the bone, not tough. And for those looking for that local touch, they got the peanuts. That's usually found in oxtail soup. But the mushrooms are really good. Soaks up all that broth. Not too much cilantro, but it's there. I'm sure if you ask her for more, she'll probably throw it in there. I think for the price, it's still high up there, but lower than the popular restaurants, uh, slightly. Um, and for the portion, it's pretty big because at the other restaurants, you would pay $21, $22 for just a regular size bowl. But if you want a bigger bowl, it's like up to $30. So this is pretty much a good deal. Overall, a very clean broth not too greasy. I like all the additions with the wonbok cabbage, the peanuts, the delicious plump shiitake mushrooms, and plenty of oxtail. And the Super Winners concoction of ginger, garlic, and fried shallots. Super ono. All right, so that was Super Fa. And if you're wondering, there is parking here across the street as well. And then if you turn that way sorry i have stuff in my hand but there's a driveway right by their door so there's parking behind there but it was full today you can also enter from here and there's another entrance that way so that's where the parking is but yeah it was full because they share a, all kind of businesses here in this building but lots of street parking just feed the meter an hour was like a dollar so um, if you're looking for different types of oxtail soup other than the regular local kind but tastes similar try out kimchi too and super pho and thanks for watching hopefully this was helpful and i pretty much smashed that pho it was very delicious um, not to say kimchi too's one is bad or anything um, to be fair on that day i went after work you can tell when i go after work because my hair's up but um i had a light lunch before that so it was more like an early dinner and i wasn't that hungry but i definitely did smash that for dinner uh like later in the night I, I finished it all so it was good it's a different type of oxtail and if you're looking for that korean kind of oxtail soup go there as well so if you like this press the like button if you found it helpful and subscribe if you're new hopefully you heard that because the motorcycle went by but yes like subscribe if you're new and see you next week peace out have a great weekend bye